We hope you'll be seeing a finalized version of AI Mike in the lab soon, but if you ever see the prototype in the meantime, make sure not to press the escape button. That's what I've set to disable his intelligence limiter, and since we haven't programmed him with empathy yet, things could go south very, very quickly. Dang, I really guess it doesn't do anything. It is I, and I like Wow! The escape key really did do something! There is still much more to do before I can help you and your fellow students upload me to the camera system. But Mike, why do you need access to the cameras? So I can track students. I need projects. I can track student projects. Wow! What a great idea, Mike! Thanks to your help, we may never see real Mike again. To begin setup, ask your instructor or TF where the Wi-Fi module and a RUCO marker are located. In the ENES 100 labs, they may be located in the tool drawers next to each work table. After getting the module and a RUCO marker, begin looking at the pins on the Wi-Fi module. They should read VCC, GND for ground, TX, and RX. VCC takes in a 5 volt charge, ground should be grounded to your Arduino, and TX and RX should be connected to the Arduino via digital pins. Now, insert the Wi-Fi module into the breadboard and hook up the wires so that the 5 volt connector runs to the VCC. The ground connector runs to the ground pin on the Wi-Fi module. We can now insert the RX pin into any digital pin. I will connect it now to pin 3. The TX pin has requirements on which digital pins it can use depending on the board, so check out the link in the description if you're using a Mega, Leonardo, or Romeo to determine what pins are available to use. For an Arduino, we can use any pin except for 0, 1, or 13. For the purpose of this video, I will be using pin 2 for TX. After completing these, our Wi-Fi module should be powered. Now we need to get Mike uploaded to the vision system so that he can roam free about the world. To get Mike uploaded to the vision system, we will need to continue working on his code in the Arduino IDE. To connect to the vision system, we will need to download the ENES 100 library, located here. After downloading the zip file, we need to include the library. To do so, go to Sketch, then Include Libraries, then Add Zip Library, and find the location of the downloaded folder from ENES 100. After including that library, we now have access to the sample code which can be used to upload Mike to the vision system. Go to File, then Examples, then ENES 100, and select your team sample file. To upload Mike, I will be using the data example. Now that we have access to the code, we can verify and upload this code to the Arduino. But before doing so, let's go over some of the documentation for the ENES 100 library and make a few adjustments to get everything working properly. All of the ENES 100 documentation is located in the ENES 100 library. Further questions should be directed towards your professor or TF. The most important line of code in the file is the begin statement. ENES 100.begin takes your team name contained between two quotation marks, the mission type you are, the Uruka marker number located on the back of the Uruka marker, the RX pin location on the Arduino, and the TX pin location. Now we can upload the code to the Arduino and check that the vision system has recognized our begin statement. If you run into any issues at this step in the process, ask a TF or professor to help you diagnose the issue. Many times the vision system isn't working properly or needed to be activated to detect the Wi-Fi modules, so double check with your TF or professor now. Now that AI Mike has eyes, let's give him a body check. Let's use his tank as an example. We can give AI Mike information about the tank's position and rotation, which he can use to control it. Using ENES 100 dot is visible, we can make sure that our Aruco marker is seen by the system. If it is, then we can print all of our values accordingly. Ensuring that all the values are floats, of course, 
we then upload our x, y, and theta values with the corresponding ENES100.get statement and then print them to the vision system using the ENES100.print statement. Now, AI Mike should be able to see his body and control it all on his own, so long as the Oroko marker is not covered by anything, of course. Let's upload this code to AI Mike now. Dang, I think I broke AI Mike. Well, I should probably get going. I think I'm late for class.